this is Dan York, and I'm here at ITF 73, actually, with Peter St. Andre, who is the Executive Director of the XMPP Software Foundation. So, welcome, Peter. How are you doing? Good. So, what is XMPP all about? Well, it's the XMPP Standards Foundation, which... Oh, sorry. Leads, no, that's fine. <laughs> it leads... We originally called it the Jabber Software Foundation years and years ago. XMPP grew out of the Jabber community. So, Jabber was an open source instant messaging and presence system invented by Jeremy Miller back in 1999. And he was tired of running four different IM clients for different networks, and so he decided to develop an open source, open standards, instant messaging and presence system that he called Jabber. And that, he wrote a server, other people wrote clients and libraries, and because it was a client server system, the wire protocol became very important, and that wire protocol is what we call XMPP. So, um, okay, so, and I've used Jabber for years now, et cetera. So, you're here at IETF. What's the XMPP relation to IETF? So, we had a lot of experimentation early on in the Jabber community from 1999 till about 2001, when all the core technologies were pretty much stabilized, even in late 2000. And we decided that, hey, we've got this technology let's take it to the next level and work with the IETF, contribute our core technologies to the IETF so that we can get cross-area review, security review, really strengthen the technology even more than it was at that time. So we formed a, the XMPP working group in 2002, and in 2004 we published the core XMPP RFCs through the IETF. So there's still a lot of interest in XMPP technologies within the IETF, though we have the XMPP Standards Foundation to develop most of the extensions to XMPP. Cool. So, you know, XMPP is IM presence. Uh, what else is it being used for? Well, so Google Talk, when they launched in 2005, they used XMPP for instant messaging and presence, but they also built on top of that a signaling channel for voice and video. Okay. Uh, they recently released video but they've had voice since 2005. So what that does, it's similar to SIP in the sense that you've got a signaling channel which sends more texty messages to do call setup. And then you go out of band, you use RTP or one of the you know, standard multimedia technologies for voice and video. So that's one thing that we have and there's actually quite a few people using that um, in the broader internet now to do voice and video. Uh, using XMPP as the signaling channel and then going outside of XMPP to do the voice and video traffic itself, which is pretty data heavy. We wouldn't send that through Jabber servers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's one thing that's happening. Uh, there's a lot of interest in the Web 2.0 space right now because, as we were talking about at breakfast, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who, if I'm interested in your Twitter feed or I'm interested in your Identica feed or your Doppler feed, I don't, it, to pull their servers every 10 minutes to see if now you've changed location is a big drain on their servers. So we, we have a technology we call Publish Subscribe or PubSub that enables me to subscribe to your location and then if there's a change, I'll get a notification. So instead of pulling their servers every 10 minutes, I just get a notification when your location has changed. And it's a lot more efficient way to do things. So there's a lot of people in the Web 2.0 space who are very interested in using that PubSub technology to lessen the load on their servers, essentially. Cool. Now, so what's next with XMPP? What are you guys working on now? Uh, world domination. <laughs> uh, what's next is, well, we, we're, I'm very focused on deployment. Uh -huh. So we're really working hard to get more people implementing and deploying these technologies. Uh, we believe very strongly in the old IETF mantra of rough consensus and running code. And I run one of the big servers on the network. Jabber.org has a large server of about 400,000 users. Um, I'm one of them, I have to say. It's not just enough to have nice specifications. We really are f very focused on running code. We're working a lot on some security things. We've never really had a good, done a good job of end-to-end -end encryption, so that's one of the things that we're focusing on right now. Extensions to Jingle, which is the technology we have for voice and video, so that we can use that for things like screen sharing, uh, file transfer, file sharing, whiteboarding, all uh -huh. sorts of things like that, where we can still use these real-time substrate that we've got, but for other use cases. Cool. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time. No, thank you. All right. This has been uh, Dan York interviewing Peter St. Andre of the 
XMPP Standards Foundation. Indeed. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dan.